Congratulations on getting your Circle Picks Picks social account set up. This video is going to go through quickly how to log into your Pick Social account and how to get everything set up one time. With the Pick Social uh, service, once you have it set up once, you are good to go. So, first thing you're going to do is go to circlepicks.com. That's www.circlepicks.com, and you're going to see this screen here. You will then click on the login button on the corner of the screen. You will type in the username and the password that you have provided in the email that you received when your Pick Social account was set up. If you already had a CirclePix account, you're going to use the email address that you used when you signed up with Armless. That email address is the one you used when you signed up with Armless, and then the password is whatever you had set it to be. If you're not sure what the password is, you can click the Forgot Password button down at the bottom, but again, you'll want to use the email address that you signed up with Armless when you click that Forgot Password button. Okay, so when you log into your CirclePix account, um, you're going to see this Pix Social ad here. Uh, it, it, it's there for everybody. Um, it's just an advertisement. You already have your Pix Social account set up if you received an email from West USA letting you know that it was uh, set up and live. So once you're logged into your account, you're going to see the social media button on the left side. It's right here, so you're going to click social media. And it's going to take you to this page here, the social media dashboard and it's going to have your name at the top instead of saying Training West USA, it will have your name. So then you'll have uh, a couple of things here that it'll walk you through to finish the setup process. So we'll click on Finish Setup. Now because this is our training site, we already have a Facebook page connected. If we didn't, we would have this Connect button beneath. You'd click on the Connect button and it would walk you through the steps of connecting your uh, Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn pages to your Pick Social account. All you need to know is what your Facebook email and password is, same with Twitter and LinkedIn. You just need to have those email addresses and passwords. Once you have your Facebook page connected, um, it will bring up all of the pages that you have associated with your Facebook page. So if you have some business pages along with your personal page, you can select which page you want your Pick Social posts to go to. So you can select one or all of them. It's just up to you. So we'll select this one here. And then we'll, I'm going to leave these two unconnected for now. You can connect them if you'd like. And then we'll hit continue. Now it will take you to the uh, coverage area. So you can select the city that you want. You can do city or county. And then you can type in the locations that you're looking for. Oops. So we'll say Phoenix, Arizona. We've added Phoenix. You can add as many or as few as you'd like to this area here. Every time you find one, just add it. Then you'll hit continue. Now you'll select when you want the posts to hit your page, and it will just double check that you want the post to hit your personal profile or your business pages. So for content, you can select whenever you'd like. You can select up to four days. So we'll select Sunday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then here are the categories that you can select the content to post from. So as you can see here, we have all of these categories. You want to select at least 10. I'll leave all of these selected for now, but you can go through and pick the ones that you want the best. Below is locations, so this is the areas that will be posted, um, and then you can modify this if you'd like. If you want to add more or remove some, you can do that by clicking this modify button. Um, and then the last thing here is the preview calendar. By clicking on that, you can see when the days are that you're posting content. So you can see here you've got content, my listings, and the marketplace listings. We'll get into these two in a second. So now everything is good to go here. You're going to hit continue. And now it will, uh, you'll be able to select the types, the property listing, the property side of listing video, or both. We would select both. And this is for your listing. So any of your listings you already have in Circle Picks, assuming you have any active listings, that's where these uh, will show up on your Facebook page. You want to say allow, and then you want to say uh, bi weekly, weekly, however you want your listings to show up, and then we'll hit continue. Now we'll go to marketplace listings. The marketplace listings are all West USA listings. So as any an, any agent at West USA has access to all West USA brokerage listings. So you would select allow allow listings here. Then you would select the days you want the listings to post to your Facebook page or your business page. Again, you can click on the preview calendar so you can see you've got the content posting these days, you've got marketplace posting these days, and since I don't have any personal listings, those aren't showing up here. If they did, they would show up in green. 
Now you can select the price range. This is where you can show the, the, the minimum to maximum homes that you want to show on your Facebook page. And then we'll just say no max. So we'll start at base 150,000 and do no max. And again, you have the locations that you want to show for properties. So um, you probably want to make this a list bigger or the areas that you work. Uh, and again, you can click on the modify to modify this list. Once you've gone through all of this and you're happy with everything you've selected, you'll click continue. And now everything is set up. And you can see all of the social media accounts that you have set up here. Um, you have multiple options. Um, I've just set the Facebook page for this purposes. Um, and you'll allow the broker to post content. That's how CirclePix will post the content and the listings for you. Uh, everything looks good to go. Everything is green. And we will hit done. And now everything is set up. And here is just the analytics section. So you can see the listings, the content, and the marketplace listings here. You can see the clicks. And then you can change in the last 24 hours, days, 30 days. Each one of these has its separate uh, sections. Um, and each are sectioned out per the listings, the content, and the marketplace listings. And then again, here at the bottom, this is your posting schedule. Gray is the content, green are my listings, and then the blue are the marketplace listings. And finally, here is the account setup. If you want to go back in and connect something that you haven't connected already, or if you want to remove one, you can do that by clicking Add or Modify Connections. That's it. That's the setup for the Pick Social account. Once you have it set up, it is done. If you want to go back in at a later date and modify anything, it's very simple to do. You just click on the uh, edit settings for each one of these sections, or you can go into the posting schedule. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to agentservices at westusa.com, or you can email tech support at westusa.com. And as always, you can call our main number, 602 942 4200. Again, that's 602 942 4200.